All right. Progress, right? No matter how slow. That's correct. The idea is it's all progress. And yet, you know, the big piece is you know you can do them now. So you you have to be stronger. So that's that's a good part. All right, you guys ready to warm up? Yep. I'm gonna round up a few of our other folks. We'll uh We'll kill one of the cameras. I think we'll just leave it on the ladder camera for now. And uh, but apparently, if we we can send two views at once to Facebook now. Oh, good! So that works. It's working. Awesome. It previously did not do that. So that's good news. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start with our normal ones. We're going to add uh, one or two more in. Uh, we're not going to time those right now, but we're going to start adding a little bit of timing to these. I watched another video uh, uh, of a guy, I like watching flight tips, and he actually was going through almost the exact same exercise as we are doing, except for the split exercise, this one, they don't really care about that one, we do. Um, but uh, so we're going to add a few more uh, things in there and uh, uh, see how uh, they're going to be uh, probably a little... A little harder, uh, but uh, I, I think it'd be good. I know I need it, uh, especially for some hip stuff. So. so let's go ahead and start with our normal uh, left foot squats. Let's get uh, 15 of those in. So again, Angus, just do these to the, to the distance. If you can only go this far down, then do them. Push yep. it just a little bit and then back up. And then every week, just push it to where you're comfortable and back up. And then if you think you can go a little more, then go a little bit more. The key here is we are not needing to, you, you don't want to hurt yourself. You just want to push yourself so you gain strength and, uh, around the, the weak parts. Goal is butt off ground, but. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, this one, we're going to do those toe ups again. So this one uh, is we're going to get on the balls of our feet. He is the balls of the feet. We're going to push up right onto the toes where you feel your toes actually holding you on the ground. I know it's hard, isn't it? Oh yeah. This is a balance exercise, but it's really important. And then you're going to go down, stay on the balls, let the heels rise off the ground. You see my heels are off the ground, but keep your back perfectly straight. My heels are on the ground, then I have to bend forward to balance. In this case, we got our, our on the balls of the foot, we keep nice and stacked when we go down, and then we come back up and we push. Back up onto those toes, and then all the way back down again. You can actually do this exercise with your helmet in your hands. Sometimes it helps your balance. Again, go down as far as you can without hurting yourself. This is a great balance drill. If, if you have a hard time, you can put a chair next to you. The idea is just to allow it to catch you. Two One, fingers. Two fingers on the chair. Don't grip it, don't lean on it. Two fingers, that's all it takes. That's right. This is a hard balance drill, but this is actually good because it's teaching us how to catch and how our center is holding us and understanding this goes into fighting all the time because it's easy to lose your balance. If you know where your center is, it's a lot harder, it's easier to catch yourself. Way up on those toes, push them things. Then back down. So this is one of those scenarios they, they have conversation about power to a line of power. We talked about this before. Basically, from your foot, through your hip, through your shoulder, through your arm, all the way through the two fingers that extends to, to hit, right? So, so you got this. 
the foot turns out, it does not. You got to be careful. You don't want your foot to turn down and in. You want to keep that, that line up the knee to toe. So you want to keep that line, knee to toe. Get a little better shot at that. Here I am, knee to toe. You can see my toes are facing the same way my knee is. Compared to, I'm going to throw. You see my knee is inside my toe line now. This is very dangerous for your knee. So when you throw something, that hip turns, your toe turns. That allows that accentuation of power. So make sure when you discuss this with people, that's important. We talk a lot and, and it's a very simplistic form that you gotta rotate your hip. Well, the hip isn't the only piece of the line of power. The hip is a part of that. If you over rotate that hip, you're actually taking power away from yourself. Because if I'm, if I'm here and I over rotate, now all of a sudden I'm pointing the wrong way. And if I come back this way, my power is going this way. I'm breaking that line of power. All right, next one. Get in your stance. And we're just going to roll up on your, your balls of your feet and then onto your toe. You get, but you notice you're keeping the back nice and straight. This is another balance exercise, it's really difficult. And then you're gonna roll all the way back. You can actually, you're gonna roll back to your heels. You should be able to almost lift your foot off the ground. When you roll back, you notice my knee is still bent. Right, so here I am, I'm going forward. My head should be even across the same line. Right, when you get good balance, you can lift that back foot off the ground. And then you come back, front foot's off the ground. So in fighting, here I am, I roll all the way up. My toes are holding me. I'm not falling into my opponent because my toes are, are essentially holding that ground for me. If they're weak, then I'm gonna fall forward. Throw, and then I'm back out. You notice I'm mostly back on that back foot a little bit because now that range is farther. So we're manipulating range in this exercise. Get about 15 of those in. Keep those knees nice and bent as much as you can, but you're comfortable. And after you get your 15 in, we're going to go and we're going to switch feet. We're going to take a look and get see how you're doing. Let's see. Let me yeah. adjust this so you can see. No problem. Yep. So. Good. And all the way forward. Nice. Don't lift up. Try to keep that back. Leg. There we go. Good. So important part of this and Angus has showed us is that if I lift this back leg up, my line of power is now going up, right? So, so here I am, I lean right into my opponent, it's going straight at them. If all of a sudden I lean up, that power starts transferring this way. So it's not at your opponent. It's just because you're going so far forward yes. that you can't keep it flat anymore. Right, and as I said, Right, as I've said, your heel is gonna come up. We know that, that's okay. The key is that your line, your head line and your body line is straight at your opponent and straight back and not up. So we don't use that back foot to push up. All right, let's switch feet. All right, you guys, let's see. I'm gonna check it out, see how everybody's doing. Good. Yeah, make sure you're rolling right up onto those toes, Angus. Nice, Margarita, that's the way, good. And you're keeping a nice flat, flat line with your head, that's very nice. Nice job. There we go. 
this is another exercise that you're building some strength in both of those both of those knees. Get all the way up on that ball, all the way on that toe. When you get all the way forward, push yourself. There we go. And then back. So one exercise with this is you can actually spread your feet more and get more range with this. So if you're if you're too close, what happened is I can only go to here. Right? Because there's only so far. But if I spread the legs a little bit more, then I get a little bit more depth and distance. You can see how I come forward. I'm lots of distance. I come back. There's a lot more different. So the big key in feet is understanding that if I'm in A range, I almost want my feet side to side because I want now. I can shift my hip over onto each leg. So it's side, you can see here, I'm going side to side. When you're fighting close to someone, I don't need to go forward and back. I need a good hard stance and I need to be able to, to move around a little bit. Then as we stretch that range, we stretch our feet into more of a heel to toe, probably in that BC range. And then if you really want to push it out, way out on that edge, and then all of a sudden, here I am. I look like I'm in D range, I'm way out of range. And now all my motion is forward. But if I'm in this position, remember, I can no longer fall to the sides anymore. I don't have that. So, so just be aware. Uh, one mistake that we made was not talk to our people about that. Is that the distance of your feet will change on your based on the distance of your foot. And uh, so a lot of people were like, here I am, I'm fighting way out here and their feet are really close. I can't lean anywhere. Side on the other hand can, can actually come at me and get more range because she's more linear on her feet. And now she's way far away, right? And then she's way close back. And I can't do that because my feet were wrong. So be aware when you're talking to people that that's an important part. All right, we're gonna add one more, let's add this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Once you, you want to, oh yeah, you can do them right there. You can see. It. So we're going to add in side lunges now because we all need more lateral strength at our knees, and it's good for your hips. So we're going to stand with our legs apart, and all you're doing is just bending one knee. And you're going off to that side, and much like our other flat-footed squats, I'm letting my butt hang back a little bit so that I can keep this leg flat and not be like doing weird stuff with my knee. Again, the goal is to get way, way down. If you can't do that, then great. Go, go here. Go yep. where you can go. Exactly. Go as far as you can go. Then you do is it straight stuff. back? Yes. Try and keep your back as straight as you can. Hold on. I think we're... Yeah, you froze up, Ron. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm, I'm waiting for my phone to recover. It might be just because we're inside. It's basically going to be the same back position as your normal flat-footed squats. So... It came back. All right. My normal flat footed squats, you know, I, I have to, but butt has to go out a little bit. I have to lean forward a little bit. This is still mostly straight. When we're doing these side lunges, kind of the same deal. Yeah. Again, because our feet are flat, you have to essentially do that. So let's go ahead and get those in. Next week, we're going to do these about for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and get, get them in, and I'll tell you when to stop. All right. Yeah, I noticed it low bandwidth. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna jump on Wi-Fi. I need to think about putting the phone. Uh, yeah, guess. Okay. And then we're gonna have to find the right. That'll help us. Yeah.
All right, we're going on Wi-Fi on my phone. So that should help the, the freezing and everything else. I didn't even think about it when we set it up. So give us one second. One Mississippi. Yeah, go to that one and then come back. Maybe. It's like, well, we fixed it. It's just not catching up over here. So yeah. great. There we go. Now I think it's coming back. Although it just fell off. I no, it, yeah, it just lost it. It's coming, yeah, back. it's coming back. There we go. There we go. Yay. IT problems. We All have right, so we're learning. All right. Yeah. Now what? All right. So that was the that's one of those. Um God, was there any others that we really wanted to get into uh, right after this one? We did. So we're going to add that one. Um, is there any other just, uh, so these are good warm up exercises. Again, they're, they're slow static exercises that you aren't stretches, but they're, they're good to warm up with. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do the leg opener. Yeah, again, so here we are, and then out, and then down. And then the other. Oh, I'm over here. There we go. Ready? So here we are. We take the leg, lift it up. Okay. Roll it out and put it back on the floor and it's breaking your foot. So there we go. Roll out and down. Let's do these until I tell you to stop. No rush. Do it nice and right. Uh, another good way to kind of do these, if you have good squats and good hips, if you go all the way down at the bottom of the squat, sort of tap your knees on the ground. This one is real good if you've got the flexibility and you're looking for that next step. So the idea is for, for side, she's, just, she's very comfortable. You can see that she was going through those other ones. In this case, you just you may have had the chance that's aside by going down here and then touching the knees. Essentially. But not everybody can do this with your leg. So beware. <laughs> that's part of your but that's perfectly fine. So that's why a lot of people do these just standing up and just up and out. This is also again, you're you're picking up some balance stuff out of it. All right. Getting some hip rotation in there, warming all that up. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, move on to our ladder drill. Yay, ladder drills. <laughs> Folks that are newer to, to doing ladder drills with us, if we're moving too fast through something and you're like, hey, whoa, I need you to show me that slower. Let us know, we'll slow it down, we'll break it down, we'll explain it better, whatever you need. Yep, Angus, I'll be watching a little bit and trying to help you along as well. Okay, well, I don't have a ladder yet, so. That's okay, just pretend you have one on the ground yep. and, uh, and just go ahead and look at the steps more than worrying about where the lines are. We actually don't worry about the lines. The biggest piece is those lines are good to start with. Okay. So. All right, we're starting out nice and basic, two foot run. Lead with one leg, and go one, two, one, two, one, two. Go back and do it again with your other foot. That's right. So this is we're gonna do it again. Other foot leads this time. Believe it or not, that's relatively hard sometimes when you're really dominant with one foot. And then once you've done it on both feet, you can do it backwards. Okay, once leading backwards. with your left foot, once leading with your right foot. You do it backwards, try to keep your back nice and straight. And then with the other foot backwards. And Elfwin's showing the advanced version. You can just go straight from forward to backwards. Once you get 
right. Get the hang of these. Again, remember as you do these, you want a nice straight back. We don't want to bend over. Go ahead. So when you're doing these, you don't want to bend over while you're driving your feet. Want your back nice and straight, you sit into your heels. Up next on our handy list, everybody's favorite. Hey, you have to. Yay! I'm going to squat down a little bit and I'm going to jump out to the side of the box, into the box. You notice her head doesn't move. There's it doesn't pop little... up and down. Yeah, we're not doing anything top. Staying low. Moving our feet in and out. I'm going to do that. Stay on the balls of your feet. I've got a longer ladder this week, guys, so let's go up a week. There you go. And as with all of them, we're going to go ahead and do it backwards. This is a little harder, but just the urge to lean forward. Stand up help instead of staring at the ground. This is a good one, Angus, because you don't have to really worry about where the ladder is. You're just barely getting your feet off the ground, right? Right. That looks good. Nice. Keep those knees nice and bent. Perfect. So in a small space, you can just go back and forward in that small space, because uh, a lot of us have it, where you're just like, get to the back, and then switch, go yeah, forward like, again. You can only do three or four in a direction, great. You can only do three or four in a direction. Do a second round to get some more, whatever. Exactly. All right. Next, we're going to move into our did. sort of drop step yeah. sequence of moves, starting with the most yeah. basic drop step. Call this one skier. One foot in, one foot out. I'm going to shift my weight over that foot that's in. Drop open, plug behind me. Okay. So this is, like she said, this is a basic drop step. One good way to tell how it works is you can literally lift up this foot. Let me just go real quick. Here I am, I put it here, I lean. And then I grab myself. That's a big example of how it works. It's not, I'm not pushing over here. I, I move my hip and then I catch, my, catch it with my foot. And the idea behind the drop step is to literally fall into it. So here we go again. I'll do it real quick. And then I will show it backwards after he does his run here. Going backwards, it's the same thing. I'm just shifting my weight this way. Careful, I'm, I'm over exaggerating. Yeah. I literally just pick this up and fall. I didn't go backwards, I just went straight side to me. But you can really think of it as sitting. I'm just taking my butt and sort of pushing it that way. And my feet are catching me before I actually fall over. Forward. Good. Want to do it forward. That's all right. Yes. Here we are. Here we are. Put the one foot in the box. Lift that foot. Other foot goes. He's like, if you are struggling with forward, don't do backwards yet. Work on forward. Yeah, in the box. Here go. Forward. There you go. Yep. That's okay. Right there. Yeah. No step. Yep. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Stuart. Pretty good. Margarita, those look better. Get a little dip yeah. in the middle. 
That's good. That's not bad at all, Angus. Just the big piece there is later, you're going to watch that dip in the middle. You're going to want it all flat. So the knees have to stay bent from side to side. Yeah, that's better. And again, you can stay right on the balls of your feet. This exercise is teaching us how to move the center and then our feet catch up. Great. Exactly. Next up, we're going to make these wider. So this is getting you a we're going to get wider side to side. I'm starting outside the ladder this time. It works better if you can get a little bit lower in your squat. We're still just doing the lean, but this time at the very last second, when I'm already most of the way there, this foot's going to push just a little at the very end. Give me that last little, last bit of oomph to the side. Not leading with that. Right. I have most of the way there is just... Right yeah, that last little push gives you the distance with your outside foot. Otherwise, your feet, if, if she just starts here and goes here, then our feet are together. We don't want that. We want to keep distance between those feet. Good. Nice, bro. There. You see how the push works? All right. Let me see what's going on online. Margarita, I want to see your knees nice and bent. I want to see some, some nice big ones. And then get a little there. That's nice. A little bit more distance between those feet at the end. I'm going to add you the spotlight here. Nice. I remember you couldn't get all the way over the ladder before. Doing a good job, Margarita. It doesn't have to be as wide as other people. So for what is wide for you? Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get people to stance. Uh, there's Bron and yeah, okay. So yell at William and, and those guys get in stance. All right. So again, let's uh wrong ball there's uh picking on us. <laughs> so let's make sure that when we're in, we start in stance. It's a little hard here because it's plug it. That's cool. I didn't know we shoot and we end in a stance. And if you have to, just make it a little smaller. Like here, I'm gonna make it a little smaller because my feet are flying. But you notice, I'm trying to end in a stand. Doesn't matter if they're 20 foot forward or not. <laughs> as long as we end up in a stand, that allows us to do something. If you're comfortable with this one, go ahead and do it backwards as well. And don't worry about landing on the ladder. Just get, make sure you keep a good stance. You got more distance, that's best. Set your stance. It is on that side, it's short on this side. If we tear the ladder up, we'll take it back up. Good luck. Good. Nice, William. That's exactly it. Okay, give it a try backwards. Do it. Okay, yeah, get a little distance in those feet. And don't jump up. How you're jumping up? Yeah. Good. Lean. Okay. yeah. Let it be smaller side to side if you if you need to. It's okay if you don't make it all the way over the ladder. Yeah. Go ahead, Ron. If you're comfortable, you can try back. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, keep that good distance. Go ahead. Great. For our next one, go back to that one foot in, one foot out stance. And we are still going to do the same idea with our body of I'm leaning and catching myself with my feet, but we're going to reverse the order of the feet this time. This is our shuffle here. So I'm leaning, and then I let this foot move first and catch me. 
So my feet are ending up sort of right in line with each other for a moment and then it comes back apart. The important part is the toes are still pointing down the ladder. If you turn that toe, your hip is going to turn with it. And then your hip is not going to be facing your opponent. So you want to keep those toes pointing down that ladder. That's, that's awesome. That's exactly it. Now put some burst in those, Bess. You didn't hurt your leg. There you go. All right, Todd, watching. Yep, it's close. Don't worry about that third step, okay? I'm gonna go to you and we're gonna help you with this one. All right, so side's gonna help you with this one again. Here, here she is. Take the outside foot, bring it across, put it in the next, in front of the, right in front of the other foot. And then take the back foot, put it out. There you go, nice and, yeah, walk it. Now, take the, again, yeah, take, yeah, you got it. And then out. So yeah, you don't leave, yep. Yeah. Good, there, don't, yeah, don't, there you go, good. Yeah, it, uh, it feels strange because I want to go here and then move this foot. Exactly, and that's because you're actually shifting your body too far over. So your foot is following your body, which is fine. You just, yeah, you want to stay in the middle and you'll notice that you'll catch yourself better. It's all relatively small movements. I have I my diagram up if you want to see it. All right, Bess, I'm going to put the, the spotlight on your diagram sure. for a second. So yeah, hold it there. No uh, bam. All right, that's so. good. Yeah, again, take, here we are. Okay, you can take that. So yeah, foot, if you want to look at the, front, the, the foot diagram, it's on the screen for a second. Yep. So you can see the one, two, one, yeah, two, okay. one, two. In this case, the outside foot moves first. Perfect. Ron, I'm going to stand in front of you so you can do the same thing. That's right. That's right. Okay, and here we are. And if you're comfortable with this one, make sure you do it backwards. Yeah, like in its most basic form, we weren't going forward and backwards. This one is just together and apart, back to the middle and apart, and to the middle and apart. Yeah, and then we're just adding some forward. So don't worry about it. Right. Yes, yeah, 100%. Yeah, stand those toes. Yeah, I heard the back foot healed it. Alright, next up, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to add some angle to it. So I'm gonna flip 45 degrees in. If you have a lot of knee problems and you find that this torques your knees, do a smaller angle. So we're gonna start with 45. So I'm still taking that outside foot first, bringing it in, but I'm turning it to my final position in the other way. I'm imagining that I'm going around an opponent here. Got it. So here are 45. What comes across turns the opposite 40 positive quick. All of this while keeping our backs nice and upright. We don't want to hunch forward. Very nice, Catherine. Nice job with those feet. Again, this is done with a person, depending on what they're presenting you as you're fighting them. I think you're on yours. Oh, no, no, you're, huh, you're good. You're good. Uh, as, as you're presenting, come here. What's happening is if this person goes sideways, when I go sideways in this skip, whoops, do it again, sorry. There I am. If they go sideways, then I'm just gonna stay even because we're flat. So we're going to do this simple exercise. But if they don't move, if you just and they it. just turn, turn, then 
then we can do that. Because if I just go sideways and he turns, then I'm changing this range. Yeah, you can't really see from that angle. I'm turn we mostly and just do see this, Sibbert's back. So do this is right here. Here again, he's going to travel sideways. So I'm going to I'm going to do a shuffle. See how he travels. So he traveled with me. So now I can. I'm trying to shuffle into a corner, but he's trapping me, taking those corners away. Watch what happens if I, I do this and he just turns. So now I'm too far away. So next time he does that and I do this because I know he's turning and I'm keeping in that same range. Bang, bang, bang. All right. So that's the reason why you would move, use a 45 step like this. And this one, of course, can also be done backwards. Yeah. You need to get around someone while also running away from them. <laughs> okay. Let's see how you're doing, Angus. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Good. And bring it back across. Good. That's good. That's exactly it. Now stay nice and low. Don't want your head to bob up and down. How Ron Walder talks about it. Look at a spot on the wall across from you. If you're looking at one spot on the wall and you're bobbing, you can see that spot move up and down. The idea is to keep it nice and level. All righty. So let's move on to our next one. Now we're gonna start adding some steps on top of these same ones. So we're back to facing straight forward. And so we remember we were doing our shuffle across. Now we're gonna add a step. So we're stepping forward and then just do that shuffle across. Step, shuffle across. We call it three step because it is one, two, three. And you're now ready to go the other way. One, two, three. So what's happening here is you're stepping forward. You're not just step forward. Pull in cut. That's right. So you're going forward with a step, and then that back foot comes forward, take that foot away. So the idea is, here I am, I step forward at my opponent, this foot's going to come up and do a shuffle that's supposed to replace that foot. I'll do it right. Back foot in the ladder, here we go. Step, replace. Step, replace. And those of you that have been doing this a while, make sure you go ahead and get your backwards in. So in a fight, this is how this works in a fight. Here I am, I may be too far away from my opponent. So I'm gonna essentially take a step but then I'm stepping right at my opponent into a danger zone, and then I slide over to his side, changing the angle. I know where I'm going. He does not know where I'm going. So here's how it looks again. Here's my step. I'm closing the range. His foot's replacing. <laughs> and now I'm over here. <coughs> if I just take a double step in, one, two, he has two shots at me, really. All right, I'm going right into his frame. <coughs> Again, if I want to go the other way, then I'm going to step. Step with the other foot and replace. All right. I'm going to do a backwards real quick because I haven't yet. <laughs> yep, they're good. Very nice. That's also a thing, yes. Ladders, um, you will trip on them sometimes. He, uh, it's okay. He's just rocking the body. Yeah. 
is a good point uh, that was just brought up. Be careful when you do these. Here you are. I step back, but then look, my head's leaning. My body is leaning, right? And I step back and I lean the other way. My head's still on the line here. Your opponent still can hit your head because it hasn't moved. This is what we call penduluming. So we don't want that. Here and you're just a pendulum underneath, and that's not what we want. We want here, I'm on the other side of the ladder. Here, I'm on the other side of the ladder. Okay, that way your head is off that line. Next one we're gonna do is almost the same thing, but we're gonna actually let our feet cross this time. It gives us more side to side motion. So instead of being in the ladder, I can actually start right on the edge. I'm going to take that step forward. And now, instead of shuffling together, I'm going to shuffle all the way behind and then come back. So you step forward, cross behind. The important thing here, as we were saying before, my hips are forward the whole time. I'm not twisting them this way when I go to cross behind. Yeah. Stay facing forward. And Margarita, this is the one that you have the hardest time with, so I'm going to watch you a little bit. You still on? Yep, there you are. I'm going to pull you up and watch it a little bit. And then Angus, I'm going to come back to you. Yep. Not bad. Keep that back foot nice and straight. Yeah. Don't turn those hips too much. Remember, yep, you're just replacing them. There's a little slide in there instead of holding your foot on the ground. There's a, a point at which what's happening is here I am. This foot's almost touching this one or going in the back here. And it's replacing. So a lot of times what I'll see is here we are, we turn the hip a little bit and then we re replace. But we, a good way to maybe do this is just a simple side to side slide first. So it's almost jump. Yeah, this one is actually a little bit easier, faster because you don't get as much of the like awkward cross of the legs when you're airborne. It's just, ha ha. As opposed to on the ground in slow mo, where it's you have to turn your heels. When right. I'm using that little bit of speed and momentum, I get the same sideways, same overall sideways travel, but my legs only actually cross that this much because it's in the air while moving sideways. Exactly. And by in the air, I just mean not touching the ground. That's right. like way up here. All right. So well, let's see one more time, Margaret. I'm gonna check see how the, how it's looking. Oh, That's sorry. a little better. Sorry. Okay, you gotta go. You got to go. Go ahead and do this one backwards as well. Remember your foot crosses in front when you do this backwards. Angus, I'm gonna take a look, see how you're doing. Hold on. Adding you to spotlight now. Okay, let's see. So Angus, this is one that yeah, that's not bad. Do it again. Yes. Yes, so you got a little bit of work. So do this, turn sideways and do this sideways. You'll have more room. You don't have to worry about going forward. So, so okay. in your case, based on your room, you can turn sideways like this and just cross your feet like this, depending on how much room you have. You can do two, okay? So, so you're just learning how to get that cross, so. Yeah, Rombo is showing you can actually even go in a box and do so this. You do the third step. You go forward, cut, back, across the front. Cut. Yep. Forward, cut. You got it. No, it's a waltz. <laughs> now, yeah, you can essentially do that card <laughs> when you change it up. Yeah. It's like you actually just made this a lot more complicated <laughs> for the brain. <laughs> Which is a good thing to work as well. Exactly. And then do the other one. Yeah, and then do the other one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So you got the idea. The idea here is that we're crossing that feet. So if, if I was fighting wrong balder here and, and we're just, here's a, here's a simple, what we call our gather. We, we bring our feet together and replace, or actually this can be gathered. That's not yes. We push our foot up and gather the foot. Step gather. Step, Step gather. gather, okay? So you notice the distance is relatively short. That's the shortest distance you get because there's great legs and then we have to gather back in a good space. We can do the shuffle and because we're leaving the ground a little bit, now that's not crossing our feet yet, but because we're leaving the ground a little bit, 
what we have is a longer distance. So I can shuffle that. And we can shuffle. Okay? And now we can add the last one, which is this foot goes way behind. All right? So all of a sudden, and we do the other. One. We have gone in two steps for covering most of that ladder. This is really important because I get Ron Balder and start just doing a simple gathering now. Change it, and I get more distance. <laughs> So you can get around that opponent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next one. This one we call our four step. And this one is really, we're just going to do two of those little drop steps from the beginning in a row in each direction. So the, the slow breakdown is one, two, three, four. Hence the name four step. But as you speed it up and, and let your body weight guide you, it becomes one, Two little drop steps. One and two, one and two, yep. The idea is it's a nice smooth, it's one smooth sideways motion. So it's just multiple little steps. And the idea is that your head is always over, straight over your back. Your back and head is a straight line. Good, Brian. That's exactly it. And then as you get better, you can speed those up. Nice bends of those legs. Good. Stay on those toes. Stay on those balls of the feet. Ugh, got that one funny broke. And then the kids out of the pass. And again, you can change those. So another for people that have been here for a while. Any, any? In and out. I can go a couple extra. Okay. So there's, you can change that, essentially breaking the idea of the pattern in your head, making it a little easier for you to operate. I'm going to fix our ladder. Hold on. There we go. Exactly. All right, so now we can do that backwards. All right, go ahead. Our stance is what's important here. Because this inside goes small, we have a habit to go one, two, one, two. This is not a One, two, one, two. How long do you have to move your mouth? So, that's fine. Make sure you're at your stance width. Go in together, out stance. In together, out stance. Okay. Doing this, all you're doing is moving around the leg. And this is fine if you're learning it. Yeah. Well, that's you've done it. So this is really good to remember that we're supposed to land in stance. So it's something that I even just forgot to do myself. So that's what you guys want to make sure. Let's do it this time and make sure you're in stance the whole time. That you end in stance. Okay, I'm going to watch. That's the way, Angus. You got it. Very nice, Dramaticus. Yep, good stance. That's the way you're keeping those feet. Good, Bess. Good stance, Elfwin. That's you're you're nailing your stance every time at the end there. That's that's exactly what Ron Calder was just talking about. So Yeah, that makes it for a challenging step right there. All right, we're fixing our ladder. All right, uh, go ahead, backwards. I can like step in front of me and go. Yep. Don't have to wait for you to Let's go ahead and shoot it backwards. Good. Do the same thing backwards. Let's get in there. 
stand on the outside, can you throw a shot? You can, but your feet are wrong. And make sure you're not, your back is really, when you, you have to throw the shot, you can tell if your back is off as well. And, and in this case, again, there's a time for speed and there's a time to make sure that you're in good form. Form comes first. Remember, this ladder's a guide. It's not a dictator. Exactly. So if your step, if your step is small, no big deal. And this is as far as you step, then that doesn't mean you pull this outside of the ladder. It simply means your stance ends up inside here. So if you're going to step like this, that's your out. Then you're in, in. That's a three. Right? Yeah, could be literally on the line every time, yeah. like Ron Goldberg's doing right here. So the, the, the ladder's a guy, it's not a dictator. You can't clear it comfortably, make sure you're in your stand. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Moving on, we're going to get into our quick feet. Quick feet maneuvers. So we're going to start with our lateral in and out out. All that means is I'm literally stepping in, in the ladder and then out, out. Whatever back. The idea here, I want my whole body to move forward and backwards. We don't want a pendulum. The whole thing to go in and out. And the faster you do this, the smaller that's going to end up being. When I'm going slow, I can make these motions, but as we speed it up, much smaller for effect. Yeah. No, the in and out. out. Make sure you do this going in both directions. So one time moving to your left, at least one time moving to your left and at least one time moving to your right. If you've got more timer or more space or a small space and you need more reps, then do more reps. And the key on this one is literally we're taking our hip, this foot is falling in. This is a drop step straight forward and then this foot just follows it. And then this foot falls out. And I'm falling out on a slight 45 each time. Okay? So the idea here is we are controlling the hip. I mean, you notice my body stays nice and upright. Now, there's a second way to do this drill, and some boxers do it a lot, and that is for foot speed itself. If you don't care about the fall in, you'll get a little bit of tilting, but that's okay if you're practicing this for foot speed. We're just working on how to move our own body and yep. around. Right. Now that we've done our sideways in and out out, we can come check, see how people are doing. The next one we're going to do is a forward in and out out. This one's going to harken back to our hopscotch, but it's one foot at a time now. I'm going to squat. This time my body's going in a straight line down the ladder. And my feet are just moving in and out underneath me. So out to the side, into the middle. And then you can add your fast pizza. Out of the far wall. Especially because you do 
always have one foot on the ground. We want to work really hard on keeping our head level, not letting it bounce. In hopscotch, when we're jumping, there's a little bit of bounce. It's unavoidable. Here, you really can smooth it, smooth it right out. On this one, if you, my first time through, I led with my left foot. So I'm going to go do it again here after Branis, starting with my right foot. If you've been doing this a lot, do your right, do your left, and then do backwards right and left. <laughs> All right, Angus, I'm going to see how you guys are doing. Let's see. Uh, you can hear when William goes. It's like a. So think about you're going side to side. Let me uh, spotlight you here. Ooh. All right. And guess here we go. Go ahead, actually. Chance where it's going to, the idea is the first foot comes out and then back together. The key is that we're not going to hop too much. Watch going up. But just like you're doing, one foot goes out, our legs spread. Feet come back in. They can just go on those lines if you want back out. So this one, you're not moving side to side. You're moving straight forward in a line. So your feet should go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, the whole way through. That's that grandma. I think this one would be better with the ladder, though. Yeah, the ladder does help. But for you, just think of it about the imaginary line. Like, you know, the idea is here, I'm not on the ladder, out, out, in, in. If you have to just bring your feet together and back up. All right, so now. Here. I'm going to ignore the ladder for a second. Do this one with me standing in place. Yep. So actually, I will stand in the box just so that you can see my feet are staying in the same place. We're going to go left foot out. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can see the feet. So take a left foot out. Take a right foot out. Yeah. There you go. And then, and then back in. Back in. And I'm right where I started. You got it. And then back out. Out. out, out in. 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 Now bend those knees a little more to make it easier for you. Yeah, don't let your body move side to side. See how you're moving your body side to side every time? Yep. And that's hard. So what, what he's doing is starts here and you're out here and your body moves with this foot. Think, body goes up, sit, almost like you're sitting. Back in, sit. I'm going backwards. Yeah. Yeah, and you can literally hold your hands up like you're doing something and Oh no, you notice I'm not doing this. You know, the body's not shifting. That looks better. Yes. Yes, there it is. Very nice. All right, backwards. Let's go. Back feet. Stand up. Stand up. The balls of your feet. So, yep, backwards if you haven't yet. Good. If you are still working on forwards, keep working on forwards. You don't need to add complication before you're ready. And that's not a problem. <laughs> If you have to do it through really slow, like for me, I started with the other foot and I had issues, so I went slower. Yeah, slower is always an option. <laughs> Alrighty, jab, jump now. In my stance. We often talk about doing a jab foot, but we're just going to jab that foot forward. I'm doing a jab and jumping with it. Forward and then back out. The next box, back out. Actually, normally I do this with the lead foot. 
forward. But either way, jab in, jump back out. Yeah, the idea is you're literally falling out. And you're not, like she said, you're not going to pedal. You're here, body straight, and I take this, and I lift this foot, and I fall back out. Lift this foot, I fall back in. And I'm going to keep my hips oriented this way the whole time. This one is really tempting to turn sideways, to turn into a sideways jump. That's not what we want. Forward, back. This is all of the No, I'm turning. So this is I'm gonna remind everyone here. So this one, do it in your normal stance, and then try it again, funny foot forward. So as soon as I turn my foot. So here, so if I this out. And then you can do this with both feet at the same time, or you can do it with pushing so with the right. pushing with the outside foot. So the idea would be this one. Pushing forward with the back foot, pushing backward with the front foot. Like William's doing right now. Yeah, because when you get this, you travel farther out. Yeah, so it's in the same Round Mulder just pointed out something. Again, everybody that's watching this drill, that we don't turn this foot out. Now I'm not, you know, I'm not vertical to the lat. The idea is these toes have to be here. Our hips still have to be here. As soon as I do this, my hips are changing, right? Or if I do this and I turn my back foot up, my hips still change. So we have to make sure that I try to still keep my feet and wedge against my opponent. <laughs> yeah, make sure you try it funny foot if you haven't. And then Angus, um, be prepared to either, so get into a neutral position when you, when you land so that you're not cheating your balance to go back the other way. So think about it is when you land, you might be able to go forward or backward. So if you do a little pause in it while you're learning them, then um, you'll get more neutral. And then as you get better with these, there's something else we can do later that forces it even harder. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move the camera because they're figuring something out. And this is the fun part. We got a bunch of uh, a conversation going on a little bit about because we had our feet switched on this ladder, my foot was specifically turning. So because I had to jump farther, that foot was turning at the beginning, the hip turns a little bit, and then the back foot lands turned. Even if I turn this foot back forward, my back foot is still turned. And that's because the lead foot has to travel farther in this line. Even if I'm falling this way, I really have to concentrate. Now, if I switch and I fall this way with the other foot, which is closer, then it's super easy. Because then it's just you fall right. Nice short step. So what we're talking about in an exercise when we're fighting, how do we, if I'm normal, I can't do it for the majority of the So if I have a partner and I want to surprise him, I can go here and then I can pick that, right? But if I want to do this one over here, then we have to be careful because if I, just, if I turn and I do it this way, she has that terrible angle on me. So just beware. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that, that there is a weakness there. Uh, I actually switch my feet. So if I'm here and I want to jab over into this corner, I'll literally get back. I'll switch into a funny foot stance because then my hips stay. 
right? Compared to if I'm going to do the this jam, then I have to rotate do that 45 like uh, like we did earlier. That's our next exercise. Ah, yes, it is. Uh -huh. I'll stay to the transition. So for this one, you're literally going to start with one foot in, one foot out. My body is staying right over this sideline of the ladder here and moving straight sideways. I'm just lifting my feet underneath. Your hips should stay in line with this ladder. Like a proper stance every time. Then go back and make sure you do it moving the other way. That time I just And again, the, the way this shot pays off in a fight, and we've done this on the Pell, is this. I'm here, I can throw this wrap only so far over here. But as long as, long as, as soon as I do this, I change the distance with this hip. So now I'm going from a standard stance into a funny foot, then maybe back into the stance. But the idea is I can bang, bang, the hip that I decide I'm throwing on ends up forward in that switching stance. But you're not committing as hard to going around because you're like, you actually took a step. Right. Because this is a totally different position. And you can see her leaning and trying to reach. This one, she's her hand starts right there. You can see where her hand is, and now it's much deeper. Right there, you can see. We pulled back that little bit. Okay. If I took a step, I'm now much closer. And I got, I can throw. So this is that idea on the switch foot and how it works. Subtle differences, but they make a difference. Then we're going to go back to that idea of the jab step. We're going to do two forward, one back. Or what is it? A big one forward and a small one back. So I'm here I'm doing that jab step forward. And I'm doing a smaller one backwards. The idea here is, you know, I'm going and I'm threatening you or I'm attacking you, I'm doing something, and then I'm jumping back out to the range instead of hanging out waiting for the kill. Right. And then she's totally out of range. She's in range and she's totally out of range. Right. So for me. It's a shock because she's covering a longer distance in range, and then she just falls out of range a little bit. So that's what it is. We can do two at a time. And those balls of feet. And then we're going to do the shuffle. We're going to do the other side. And then uh, we'll do a shuffle version of this because this is the one that we added last week. Good. So Angus, just watch how close your feet come together. That's all. You, you want to make sure that you still have some width between them. It's like side to side, linear. you're getting a little linear. There you go. Much better. How's Margarita doing? Pretty good. All right. Going to you, Margarita. Let's see how you're doing. Watch turning your front, front foot in. Try to keep it pointed out. Go ahead and do good. 
Ron Boulder is actually here. To yeah. yeah, don't make him yell at you. We're going backwards just for him. Better, Margaret. Nice. Again, let's make sure that foot, yep. How are those going for you, Dramaticus? Those look great, man. Woo, that's a nice. Yeah, just watch your feet when you collect that back foot forward. Make sure you still keep distance between your feet. Good stance, remember? Today, we're concentrating on stance. We end in. Yeah, really sink the stance at the end of each one of these. And then forward, yeah. So in between these, be careful when you're doing these that you're not just going. Sink this stance. Bang, throw, back. Hey, throw back. Is it? Yeah, think about that throw in between the, the bet. Yes, there you go. And try to keep your height constant. Because Louie was going to show us the shuffle version yep. that you taught us last week. So in this case, we're actually just going to do the shuffle foot. We're going to skip the back and forth. Let's just do a shuffle. So we talk about shuffle side to side all the time. Louie kind of made us really think last week about just that straightforward shuffle. In other words, I'm here. If he takes a giant step, he kind of sticks himself for a second. But when a shuffle, his feet are always together. So, so the good part is like take the giant step, like big foot. See, he's stuck. So there's so much weight transfer. Now watch when he does a shuffle foot forward. He's not stuck at all in that. In fact, at the end, he could shift either way because he's literally. So there he is. Now he pulls me in and then he can shift. The good part about that is it's in balance all the way through. So this is a straight shuffle forward. The back foot comes to the front and then forward. There you go. So here we are. So this is a little bit of a newer one. Wrong all this. This is a little bit of a newer. We didn't do this one. And then you can do the dive. All right, so I'm going to watch to see how everybody's doing. Yeah, All right, let's see that, Angus. Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, and good job switching your feet each time. That's that's the idea, as you can see. You can see that there's not as much effort in a shuffle forward as there is one giant step forward. So this is, an, this is that idea, is if I'm chasing somebody, I can stay in a nice shuffling step forward and chase them. If you didn't want to, this is one of those cases where you don't want to cross your legs or some reason. Uh, but the idea here is, if side chasing me a little bit, here we go. So she's comfortable all the way through that because she can throw anytime she wants. And then William showing us a little bit of the, here we go, big shuffle, little shuffle back. So he added this into kind of like what we do for our, our jab, long jab step. But you notice with this, we have more balance. It's actually easier to shuffle back. All right. Take a look at this is a new step, so we're going to look at everybody and make sure it looks good. I do not care if your foot's actually replacing that front one. It could look like a literally a, 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 a hop. Here we go. So if I'm fighting somebody, I don't have to travel as much room. That might be it. Or it could be a pass by step. A lot longer distance. That looks good, Margarita.
All right. So that same thing can go backwards. That front foot slides. Hard here because we're falling backwards. Let's do that backwards. Regular foot forward, then we'll do a backwards funny foot forward. So this is a newer step, so I don't mind if you guys take your time. For the people that are comfortable, I want you to put a little bit of effort and burst in those steps. Get here to work hard, so let's make sure. So good technique first, and then, then your power. Those are harder. That is harder. It's the funny foot of that one. Then that's the one I'm most comfortable with. Yeah. <sighs> nice. So we're always trying to make that first step halfway between the start and the finished orientation. So the first step should be perpendicular to the ladder rung. And bend your knees so that you can get the rotation from your hip and not your knees. And there's eight variations of this. And if you feel really comfortable, then get on the balls of your feet and try to stay, keep your balance when you do it. <laughs> well, we're trying to keep a rhythm. Yeah. And Louie's doing it backwards here. The only other variation I'm going to break down today is we're going to start the exact same way. I'm going to wait a second, let Louie run through his. I'm going to start the exact same way. I'm in my normal stance facing the ladder, but this time instead of starting with that back foot, I'm going to start with my front foot. The front foot's going to step facing down, and then we flip around and face the ladder. Again, these are all about controlling your distribution of weight. So I have a harder time with this short step because I didn't control my weight quite as well. A long step for me in this short step. I want to sometimes go too far. <laughs> All right. Show short step. You got it. Perfect. Don't bring your foot all the way too far back, Angus. Okay. Yep. Good.
All right. Very nice. Bess, you look great there. Angus, this is a really good first day for you, man. That's a much better step you just took right there. Thank Germanicus, you. nice job as usual. These are, you're always pretty good at these, so. So the next time we do these, I wanna make sure that we really stick the steps, including myself. In other words, sometimes on these turns, we're just flowing like right into the next one. So think about it. Bang, I'm gonna throw. See, I was falling back, so like terrible balance. Bang, 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 bang. If you sit a little lower into it, you can control your balance better. All right. So uh, we're uh, we're about an hour and a half through. Uh, I come right up up here and get the air and fight. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up on that. Next week, we'll make sure we get the figure eights in. Uh, if you're at home and you remember the figure eights, those are just, we're going to do the, the rolls back and forward, right? So you can go ahead and do those at home. Elfwin, this is a little new, I, unless you've been keeping up with us. Uh, so uh, these are a flow exercise. We'll make sure we go through that next week a little deeper again. We're going to add some more early stuff off and really drive through the early calisthenic portion of the fight. The best thing to do today would be after you're done, after you're done, get some real stretching. While you're all warm, get your stretching. If you want to check out the figure eights because you missed last week, or if you were here last week and just want to go over them again on your own, we are now posting all of these onto YouTube after the fact. So they're a lot easier to find. They're on the Coach's Corner YouTube page. We'll get last week's up today if we didn't already. But you, you can also find it on the Legio page if you scroll back. But they should be much easier to find and sort through on YouTube. So you can go and find where we went through that towards the end of last week's practice. And sort of go over that on your own time. Next week, we'll try and get through the ladder drill stuff a little faster. Our setup at the beginning will be a little faster now that we've used this location once. And then we'll actually dig into figure eights during class. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Have fun practicing. Have a good practice, everybody. Thanks. Wait for me. Coming, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.